Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for you guys, I have a what's in my daughter's hospital bag. And I'm super, super excited to share what I'm going to be taking to the hospital. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to be taking to the hospital with my baby number two, for those of you that do not know, this is my second baby. I'm having a baby girl. My first son, my first born is a boy, which is my son. He just turned two, currently 33 weeks pregnant. So I feel like it's a good time to get it done. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. If you guys want to see what I'm taking to the hospital for my baby number two, what I'm taking for baby number two, then I suggest you guys keep on watching. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Okay, so this is her diaper bag. And it's so cute. It is a book bag, but you could use it as a handbag also. So you can take it here. Um, it is polar bears and it's pink, white, and black waterproof. Um, and my sister did gift me this. Um, so I don't know where she got it from, but I'll ask her. And if I get that response back in time, then I'll leave the link down below. If not, um, DM me on Instagram. And you guys can see my dark circles. It's because I can't sleep anymore. Um, and I really like this a little detail right here, which is like a little um, button type of thing. So that if you do want to have like a handbag, you can just have it together and you can button that up. Um, and if you don't, then you can just take it off and you don't need to have it on. So I like that. And I also like that the straps in the back are adjustable right here. Um, and then it has this little cool bag that you can open right here. Um, and then what it does is it takes you directly to the very bottom of the diaper bag. So if you're trying to get something really fast, like usually... What you would have there are like the wipes or um, like the pampers or like the extra clothes. So I really like that that's like very easy access to the bottom of the diaper bag. And then on this side right here, it has um, a little pocket where you can insert your phone or your wallet or your tablet or whatever the case may be. In this case, I'll have my wallet there um, because and my cell phone. Uh, but I won't put that in here until I have to leave to the hospital because I need my wallet. So I won't have that in there till I leave to the hospital um, for insurance, ID, and all that other good stuff like money and stuff. And then on the right side, it has this like really cool pocket and it's very big and it's like very stretchy. It even has like these little cool elastic type of thing right here where it just will expand to the to the fullest. And I have two bottles in here. Um, I have this thermal type of bottle in here, and this holds up to five ounces, which she won't be eating that many ounces. She'll just be eating um, two, and it's still new. I have to wash it, um, but I wanted to show you guys the the bottle as you guys were wondering so in that same right bag of the of the bag i have the diaper bag i have this other bottle which is a dr brown um bottle um i got this in my target registry um when you register at target they give you like a little gift bag um and then this is the bottle that came in it um, and it's so cute. This one goes up to eight ounces. So this one she probably won't use right away, but I'm taking it just in case. Um, not like I'm going to use my actual bottles, but I just like to have stuff there. You never know. So I'd rather have it just because I like to have it ready already. And so that is the pocket of the right. And then here in the front, we have this other bag, which I really like. Um, and in this bag, we have 
three little bags and then ooh, and then in this like right here mesh type of bag we have the hand face wipes and these are from the parent choice um brand and i got those as a gift and then i'm taking her this head bow headband whatever you want to call it but this would just be for pictures um she probably won't even use it it's probably too big but i just want to take it just for pictures just in case um it like you know just for the pictures honestly and then what um, fell out was my breast, um, my nipple cream, because I'm going to try to breastfeed. And then in this other little bag that's in here, which is this one right here, I have um, this little tiny little bottle that you guys saw in my baby shower. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave that video link down below as well. And this one is just two ounces as well. And it's so tiny and cute. So this one is probably the one I will use till she's, I think, like, I feel like a first time mom all over again. But anyways, I think I'll use this one until she moves up in ounces. Um, and then I did want to say that these bags do have insulation in them. I think that's how you say it. If not, I'll leave the name of the word that I'm thinking in my head. On the screen but it does have those where it keeps stuff cool or hot or whatever the case may be I took these with my son also um, I didn't end up using them in the hospital but I did end up using them at like my mom's house because she took my she took my son um, his first bath at home um, and like she would do that stuff for me because I was so scared to but I did have these in my diaper bag so I just want to leave these in there because my mom will be doing the same with Chloe. Um, and this is just a Johnson head to toe wash soap. And this is um, what I also got in my Target registry bag. And then this is the Baby Dove tip toe wash. And I'm taking these two and we'll see which one she likes better. But yeah, these are the two that I'm taking. And I'm just leaving them here in the front pocket. Um, so in case just in case I need them from the hospital I have them there I doubt I will use my hospital provides that stuff but hey you never know and then I'm taking two washcloths um, I really like these for like spit up I really like these um, for like when I took her when I took Brian a shower for the first time my son I used these to help me because before they're um, umbilical cord, I mean their belly button cord, whatever you want to call it, falls out. You can't take them a shower or a bath. So I would use these to take him a shower, wash him, whatever you want to call it. So I'm taking these, but um, these are probably going to be for his spit up while we're there or whatever the case may be that I use them for. But I do have more, but I'm just taking two. I don't feel like I should take so many. Um, since the hospital will probably have everything I will need. I did want to say that the zippers are rose gold. And I love that little detail of it. It looks so nice. Okay, here on the left side of the diaper bag, we have this pocket. And this pocket is made for pampers. I mean, for wipes. It even has like a little slot where the wipers will come out and you won't have to like literally take the wipers out um, but I'm taking the brand Pampers um, I also got these in my baby shower so if you haven't checked out my baby shower um, and like what I got for my baby shower and my baby shower vlog I'll leave those two linked down below but um, these, these this is what I'm taking they're brand new I haven't opened them and I won't to in case I need them. I know I won't use them in the hospital, but on the way back um, with Brian Tito, he had a blowout. So as soon as I got home, I like cleaned him because we weren't that far from the hospital when it happened. I mean, from my house when it happened. So I had enough time to get home and clean him, but that way I didn't have to run all the way to his nursery and get it. And I was already prepared. So this time I'm just taking these again. Um, 
just in case and also just to have the veggie bag ready um that way i don't have to worry about it so much um for the first appointment you know like i have another child so my head will be very occupied so i feel like that's a good way to be a little organized and prepared if you will so that is in this pocket and it's also very stretchy and it also has the elastic thing and it, that one's like specifically for um, wipes. And then um, that's the front, which I already showed you. And I already showed you the side bags. Now inside, this bag is so huge. And I know once I have like, once I take out all these, this, these outfits that I'm taking for the hospital, I know I will have a lot of room for Brian Cito's and Chloe's stuff. So... I'm not worried about having to have two diaper bags. I'm just going to use one. Brian Cito's already two years old, so he doesn't need a lot of things. Um, so, yeah, pretty much just diapers and wipes I will already have. And his sippy cup in a bottle or whatever the case may be. So once you open it, it looks like this. And I love that it opens, like, like full. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it has a good opening. Um, so the first thing that you can see is this little thing. Um, I just want to have this so that she can lounge her head on it. And it's so cute for pictures and whatnot. Let me know if I'm allowed to take this off of it because I really don't like it. I feel like it's kind of a choking hazard or like, I don't know, like it will be annoying for her. But let me know if I can take it off. Anyways, um, so yeah, like just for her to lounge while we're at the hospital um or whatever the case may be um and then i'm taking this a little cute blanket that head thing came with it um but i'm taking her this blanket because i got a cozy cover so she'll be covered in the car seat like it will cover the car seat um and i'm supposed to get that in the mail hopefully a week before or two before i'm due so hopefully it'll be here um and yeah this is this is the blanket i'm gonna have under her because she'll have the cozy cover so i'm not worried about her being cold besides her outfit's pretty pretty big um and then i'm also taking these shoes that i also got for my baby shower um and these are just so cute they'll probably mostly just be for pictures i don't think she'll actually leave the hospital in these these are just for pictures i'll show you her her outfit in a minute and I'm also taking her this um, I have to take the tag off um, but I have I'm also taking her this so that she can have while well, she's in the little crib whatever um, bassinet that they have there at the hospital um, because I gave this to Brian Cito his was an elephant and it was green so I'm giving her this for her um, and then I'm taking this receiving blanket and it's pink and it has a little elephant here on the side and it's just a receiving blanket. I'm just taking it so my mom can wrap her up because I do use the ones that they give you in the hospital and I even bring the one that they give you. Um, I bring it home but I am also taking another one just in case she has a blowout or spit up or just something ends up happening. That way, I have an extra one. If I don't use it, I'll just bring it back. If not, well, I'll use it. So, just taking another one just in case. Um, okay, and then I'm taking her a bunch of outfits because with Briancito, I took a newborn. I took one newborn outfit and um, the rest were zero to three because I thought he was going to be big. We expected an eight-pound baby and Briancito was six pounds and eight ounces and 17 inches and three fourths of a quarter so he was not that long and he was not that big and he fit in premium clothes even premium clothes was so big on him so just in case this just in case chloe's big or small i'm taking a variety of clothes because with bernie Zito, i almost brought him in nothing so i'm gonna be putting her in this let me know if it's safe to be putting her in the car seat with this um or maybe just to have her lounge around the hospital, but I will be taking this, which is a little um, sleeper. 
and I thought it would be nice because it's going to be cold. So I was thinking of having this for her to lounge in the hospital. Um, so that way she's not wearing clothes and it's not bothering her um, belly button. But to bring her home, I wanted to bring her in like a onesie type of thing or like these jumper type of things because they're pretty warm and they have like a little hoodie in the top. And this one matches her diaper bag. So I really, really like that. Um, and it's so cute. This one is newborn, but it looks a little bit big. So I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like she'll fit in it. Besides the feet are not, they don't have like the sock on them. So I feel like I'm pretty sure she'll fit in here. I don't think she'll be that huge that she won't fit in there. And then I'm also taking her this little outfit that says little sister. This one is also I believe it is newborn. Yes, it's newborn and it looks pretty big. So I feel like she'll fit in it perfectly fine. Um, so have that outfit too. So those two are newborn. And then I'm taking this one that's three months. Um, just in case she is big because she already weighs. Last time we got weighed, she weighed um, three pounds and a half, which was like, almost a pound and a half more than she should be weighing so they said she might be a big baby so that's why i'm taking this one that's three months just in case she is big and then i have these little onesies that go with those three outfits um this one is just for her to lounge around with Brancito the first day um they don't put them clothes they just leave them in the receiving blanket um but the next day like in the morning i put him a shirt that says um hola or something it says something in spanish and in english so for her i'm taking her this shirt that says yay and this one is three months like i said just in case she's big she has a three month um option that either she can wear with the outfit of three months and now she can lounge in it but i do have a newborn a lounger uh, which is this one now, this one was going to go with the outfit that matched her diaper bag um, because it's white and pink and it's just newborn and it's a little short sleeve. So it will go under that. That way she's not, you know, that she has layers on her. And then this one is the one that was for her to lounge around in, which is a newborn. And if not, it can go under the sister, little sister one. Um, but either way, you know, like she has outfits and choices. Um, so yeah. And then I take her this one, which is zero to three where she can lounge in it and it's a long sleeve. Um, so she has outfits and she has ideas and this one's just like a nude pink. It's like a mauve type of pink and it's a long sleeves and so cute. Um, so that's what I'm taking for clothes for her. I feel like three outfits is perfectly fine. I feel like a lounge shirt for her to use while we're in the hospital waiting, um, you know, for like visitors. And then she has to go and get tests done and get some shots and stuff. Um, I feel like either we can have her in a lounge shirt. If not, we can have her in the sleeper or in the receiving blanket. Mommy. Okay. Yes. See, go yeah, go away, puppy. And on the side of the diaper bag, inside is a, like a little elastic or you know those type of. I'll show you right now. Anyways, and there I'm taking a little um, beanie hat, whatever you want to call it, a beanie hat, whatever. It's this one right here, and I think it's so cute. This will be to go home. If it doesn't fit her because it's too big or whatever the case may be, then I'll just use the one they give you in the hospital. And then I'm taking two socks. I'm taking a gray pair with pink, and they look like slippers, and then, or and this pink one with polka dots on it. So I'm taking two pair. Doubt I use them, but just in case I do. Probably just to go home, but... You never know. And then I'm taking one bib and I'm taking this bandana bib. And it's just white with stars. I feel like it goes perfect with any of the three outfits um, that I'm taking. So this is what I have on that pocket just so that I can take and have. Um, like I said, just in case I use it. 
Um, so look how huge it is in there. It's like super mega huge. And in this zipper bag, I don't have anything in there. And then in there is where I have the hat and the beanie, bandana, bib, whatever. And then I have in this other little pocket, it's just like the other one is her safety first, um, where it has like her little brush and then her little whatever that's called and you know all that safety stuff in there like the nail clipper and all that so that's what's in there and I did carry this with my son actually I even have his right here have his right here this is Briancito's safety first and this is where I put Briancito's blood um thing that they give us in the hospital if you ever it goes missing or whatever the case may be um it has that stuff in there so that's where i keep it so this is where i plan to keep chloe's obviously in hers but yeah this is brian Cito's safety first and we have been using it for two years and it's still in pretty good conditions and it just keeps everything together um and then I'm just taking three diapers, they're newborn and they're the Pamper brand. And I just feel like I'm just taking them just in case, like I said, with the wipers. Um, so that is in another um, compartment, let me show you. So which is right here. And I'm, in this other one, I'm not taking anything in there. So, so yeah, this is a really huge um, diaper bag that I feel like will fit perfectly fine um, Brian Cito's and Chloe's stuff once Chloe's already here and once I don't need to take so much stuff to the hospital, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, when you go to the hospital, you take more than you need. Well, at least I do. I feel like I'm an overpacker, but it's just because... I already kind of know what I'm going to need and I know from like my experience with Briancito that I needed these things so I feel like I kind of know exactly what I need to take and what is extra and what is not. Sorry I'm trying to put this stuff back in there so that I don't forget anything because then then I'm gonna look like a dumbass walking in there and not having anything ready so this is my diaper bag this is all I'm taking to my to the hospital for my daughter and I'm also going to be taking the boppy which is which is this one right here and this was brain Cito's boppy but I'm going to be using it with Chloe as well. I feel like it's very gender neutral and I like the color. That's why I got everything for Brian Cito gender neutral because I knew that within a year or two I was going to be having another baby. That was our plan. So, yes, um, I am going to be taking my boppy and um, the cozy cover is still not here for her car seat, but it should be here before she's um, here or due or whatever the case may be. Um, I also already have the car seat, so that's already ready. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm missing anything or I should take something away or maybe I should take something or maybe I should take that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Let me know anything in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed this video if it was like that please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell it's free guys um uh, i'm mom so i feel like i kind of know what i need but you never know sometimes i feel like i'm a first time mom all over again so um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye